you know, they are scrambling, fighting to win you over, scrambling over you. Oh my God. But I'm not telling you that you are preserved. I'm telling you that you are preserved. They are fighting, but you are preserved. And as far as you are preserved, but that's the, that does not mean that your preservation will guarantee you protection. It does not guarantee that it's going to be the case no matter what. And let me be more clear with you. I have seen many Christian, uh, Christians uh, through my Christian walk, my growth as a baby Christian, growing in the Lord. How easy it is for every believer to take things lightly and, and as, as a result become lazy and without realizing become a victim, become a... What can I say? The enemy begins to take over, to take uh, advantage over because he's making you take it lightly. Listen, the enemy Satan has no problem when you and I must mating. He does not behave like human beings. Who, if you tell me that you're not scared of me, I would, like, would want to prove you wrong and beat you up at the moment. No, the devil, you can tell him, you can swear at him and say you are nothing. He just laughs. You get what I'm saying? He won't want to prove a point at the moment because he knows he got you. The more you undermine him, the more knowing so well that he got you where he wants you, the more he's going to laugh. A human being, I will realize, although you know it is not worth it, when you push the baron that you want to push, they will react eventually. And you find out that the enemy say, yes, I wanted to make you angry. So that you punch me and I go report you, you get arrested and you stay in jail for the longest. And that's what I wanted. But the smart person will say, I won't hit you back. What do I lose by keeping quiet? You can swear at me, but it does not remove anything from me. You know, with this mindset, it enabled me throughout my Christian walk. It enabled me. To walk with the Lord. It enabled me to relax and be faithful to my best before the Lord. And to hang in there. When I'm fasting, when I was about to give up, I would say, oh, what will the Lord think? What will the devil think? Let me hang in there. I am almost there. I can make it. The Lord told me to fast, right? So yes, I won't stop. There is someone who is rooting for me. Let me tell you, there is someone that is rooting for you. And there is someone that wants to see you fail. And make no mistake about it. They are expecting you to fail. One of the things that I've observed when I would look at ministries, one of the things that I would observe and say, yo, before each and every downfall of many Mega churches, you know, revivals, the move of the Holy Spirit, the move of the Lord. In most of them, at least in those that I know, whenever I would hear that they stopped, there used to be a revival. I would see a church growing mightily. One time I sat down and I asked the Lord, what is the cause? Why? What made it to fall? I would realize when an explanation happens, you will realize that most of the time there was something that happened. Maybe to the pastor or to the people who were running those things, who in whom they fell into a trap. They fell into a trap and then it fell. I even observed the churches locally around where I'm from. Churches whom which when I would be growing spiritually, I would realize this church used to be known people would go there the big things were happening but now the church people are no longer there what happened and let me assure you i don't even recall one church at the moment in which it just fell nothing to point out to nothing to blame it onto in each and every one of them there was always something obvious and this is where I'm coming right now. 
That's why I'm talking to you about a fight. If you can understand about a fight that is going on over you right now, oh, you would not relax. You would, be th you would think twice before you act. They are watching you. They are watching you. Before a downfall of a church, I noticed some you would hear that the man of God, he just divorced his wife. He was starting to have affairs. And you wonder, what is it that he was not getting from his wife? Because she was, they were the best combination. But somehow, somehow, the enemy found a way to convince the man to not feel happy. To feel like, you know what? The Lord does not even mind if I can, like, I can marry someone else. And that will be the beginning of the downfall of the ministry. Some out of the blue, they will do something else. Different things. But you will realize from a distance or from outside, this is where they've made a mistake. They shouldn't have. They shouldn't have. And let me tell you, it is happening to you right now. It is happening to me right now. That is why in each and every race that you run, you must be prepared. You get married. Do you think it's going to end in you being married and you are happy for the rest of your days? No, you must understand that it's also a beginning of a battle. But then again, the Lord, when you're working with him, even before you got married, there's a preparation that happens. And if indeed you did not shortcut anything, the Lord would have prepared you for that battle. And while some battles is this, you will get tempted to leave your marriage. You will get bored. Something will make you to now, you know, which is sometimes if you do, you respond to the temptation. You'll be like, but what was I thinking? I shouldn't have. That is why when the Lord matches you up, he matches you up with someone whom you know that even if they also get challenged, you'll be able to. You get a work, you get a job. He knows that there, there are some people who use witchcraft. But now you are ready to take on that position. They won't harm you. He knows. I remember there was a time I, was, I would, someone just approached me. They wanted to tempt me into doing something illegal. And then I just sat down and like, hey, I know where I am right now in life. This could be another way in which the enemy wants to find something to bring me down on with. So no, I don't even need what they are offering me right now. Why would, should I say yes? So I remember that, hey, okay, think smart. Things are going well with your life. Do you think that things are just going to go like that? The enemy is busy plotting. The enemy was busy plotting when Samson was busy persecuting, giving the Philistines problems. And they ended up saying, no, we can't find a weakness. Let us try to use the wife. He should have been smart enough that for the rest of my days, the enemy will be trying me. The devil will be fighting over me. The devil was fighting over Job. Hence, he came to a point where he was like, I can't get over this person. Maybe, let me try this move. And Job was smart enough. Job never gave in. He never tapped out. And as a result, the Lord rewarded him greatly. When he was going through it all, he did not know that there was a constant battle. That finally, this person is going to curse you. Finally, this person is going to backslide. Finally, this person is going to break. Nothing happens where the, the enemy will just leave you like that. But above everything else, don't fear anything. Because wherever you add, when God places you, he knows you are ready. And it's not a mass that is going to happen, that is going to, no, 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 no. Some will come, you won't realize it was actually a test or a tribulation or a temptation. Because you are strong enough. And the Lord said, yeah, I knew that when these things come now at this time, they won't stand any chance against you because I, you are well now equipped. Had I blessed you two years ago, you wouldn't handle this like how you're handling it now. Now you are ready. That's why. 
it becomes easy. And I knew what I was doing all along. Be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details on the comment section below. See you next time.